Okay, Luca, not the result that uh, all those gasheads who travelled here would be looking to go home with, but I thought we were very, very unlucky today. Yeah, I thought we were unfortunate today. Um, well, I, I won't even, I won't even get into the ref, but I thought we were unfortunate today, and it's definitely not the result. I feel like we deserved all the fans deserved because the fans were excellent today. They, we could hear them. I think they outsang the home crowd. Yeah, I just think it was an unfortunate result to be honest. You personally, I thought we had an excellent performance today, and also coming back into the team after a little spell out. And I know you've been frustrated with that. Just talk to us a little bit about, about that. Yeah, well, um, obviously we've been speaking to the gaffer and just felt like we needed a bit of time out because I wasn't playing my best football and I accept that I didn't feel like I was playing my best football so I just needed that time to you know come back and actually prove now you know the player I can be and hopefully will be so I thought today yeah I thought I had a good game today but again there's always room for improvement and as a team like I said having a good game really means nothing unless we get all three points so I think importantly back into one of your preferred positions there at the right hand side yeah like I said um, obviously I played all last season right back and Right back is my position, and I feel like maybe in the future I might be a centre half. But uh, yeah, definitely, I definitely prefer right back. Back to today's game, two <coughs> very different styles of football. Um, I certainly know which one I'd rather watch. But what about you? Is that a difficult game to, to play in? It, it, it was more of a weird game because well, we knew what we was coming into. At the, we knew what was coming into before the game. They knew we were just gonna just gonna hit hit the big striker and just play off it. So we knew we knew exactly what we was coming into, and we knew what we wanted to do to counter that. We wanted to play football, tire them out, and then. And then hopefully, obviously, something will come from it. But, uh, yeah, I think it was two complete opposite styles. I think maybe we got sucked in a bit too much into their fight game. And, yeah, they come out on top. Disappointed as we are, we're looking now ahead to Exeter, a team that came up with us last season, made you know a decent start themselves. We drew 2-2 at their place. What were, we, what were we looking forward to? Well, we go into every game now, especially, you know, I think we've been very good these last couple of months. I think we go into every game for three points. So Exeter will be the exact same three points at home. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then obviously then that'll be our last game of 2022 what a year to be a Bristol Rovers supporter yeah like I said well, for me personally like I've been here since since I was young so and this has been my breakout year so I'm buzzing with it but hopefully now you know hopefully we can finish off with a strong three points to end the year I think as we deserve and as the fans deserve great stuff thanks Luca Cheers, thank you